What's up, troublemakers? Multi with Rumble Lab here, back with the best science and engineering stuffs of the week. If you like this video, hit the like button and let me know. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. That's what it's there for, I think. Or maybe you should hit it only if you're mad at me. I don't know. Do what you want, but I'd really like a like. As always, we're just gonna give you a little bite, and if you want more, there's links to everything in the doobly-doo below. Let's jump right into it. Leading off, Peter Sripol builds a Lego submarine, then destroys it. Jiri makes the most beautiful Freeduino I've ever seen. Frederico hacks one of Jiri's light-up jewelry instructables to turn it into a top. And Make Media, the company behind Maker Faire, ceases operations. In other words, they fired everybody to avoid going bankrupt and losing it all. It's crazy, I know. Uh, it's a little early to tell what will happen, but there's hope. Two awesome high school students created this Lego Technic robot that allows them to bridge over gaps. Then, moving on to space. I feel like there was a ton of space news this week. Everyday Astronaut, the guy bringing space down to Earth, releases his channel trailer, which has some sick clips in it. NASA has a successful test flight for their Mars helicopter where they simulated a Martian environment. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL for those people in the know, the place that Mark Rober used to work, has a 24-7 live stream showing them building the Mars 2020 rover. The Canadian Space Agency shows us what air bubbles and water in space looks like. NASA also got $123 million in their budget to start working on nuclear rocket engines. And nuclear rocket engines are cool because they're much more efficient and allow for us to travel a lot further out into space. It has its challenges though. Like, what happens if it blows up in Earth's atmosphere? Anyway, that's why they have the money so they can start figuring these problems out. Oh my gosh, and one of the coolest things I've seen in a while is this video game from Test Tube Games. You play around and learn what makes astronauts float in space. Give it a try, I think you'll really enjoy it. Meanwhile, back on Earth, scientists put cameras on cats. This is what they found. There was another Rubik's Cube solving robot. Corey, one of our viewers, submitted this cylindrical Rubik's Cube made by Nathan Wilson. Alex makes a croissant machine. Unnecessary Inventions release their sweat gutters. Tom Stanton makes a gas thruster control drone. It's totally impractical, but I really respect the fact how he put all this work into it just to basically push his limits and see what he could and couldn't do. Mad props. This week's hilariousness award goes to this guy for his laugh when his friend gets pushed on a VR roller coaster. Lastly, my weekly challenge for you is to try and make one of Logan Broadbent's indoor boomerangs and see if you can make it come back to you. There's a link for the template in the instruction video below. Anyway, I think that's a wrap. To make sure you don't miss the weekly rundown, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell next to it, and we'll be back here same time, same place next week. Thanks. See ya.